Hello, I am Cordley NYE, the son of Wonderful. Welcome back. Remember to like, comment, share, and subscribe to this channel. And we are going to be discussing what has been happening in the street. And this, uh, what people are discussing, why the Anambra State will always be last in mostly everything in terms of development. They are talking about the issue with the environment that in spite that uh, that uh, that Soludo knows locations of uh, the Anambra environmental challenges and they are saying that instead of him uh, doing justice to that by really employing or appointing a commissioner who will be on the road looking after the environment or himself that he decided to appoint someone that will basically be all the time in the office doing uh, meetings and symposium that um, that the Anambra said basically needs somebody that is on the street because our streets, our roads, our environment is in a mess. And um, that's what we are going to be discussing today. And I hope that you will join in this. Remember, this channel is pushing for the betterment of our homeland, the betterment of our neighbor. So that's why we always uh, devote uh, 90% or 95% of our content in getting things done, including the betterment of Nigeria. So what are we talking about? Anambra is one of those states created 33, 33 years ago, but find itself with many Challenges, especially leadership challenge. Challenges, especially um, similar to what Nigeria as a country is going through. And I'm being blessed with so much people with resources, but most of the time lack the leadership. And that's why it has caused it to miss years of the economic development and proper planning in the state and this is seen in the in the environmental decadence environmental challenges the state has been having that's why the the streets the roads the cities are in a mess with unplanned shanties unplanned markets unplanned illegal structures and so many things littered all over the place. Most of the roads with open drainages and so many things that even in uh, uh, one of the one of the discussion we have some weeks ago with a foreigner looking at Onicha, looking at uh, Anambra State he was asking if there is a government in that place. So what he meant by saying that is because of the bad state of the environment and he was really really in shock about the bad state in spite that he, he saw huge potential about Anambra but he, he was saying of the opinion that the leadership is lacking that's why that this is the real the real cocoa and the real uh, real uh, challenge so so that's why we are talking about this and uh, we are shouting on top of the on top of the roof about these things that there is always a solution to everything either the government is or governor Chukuma Soludo Charles Soludo is passionate about the environment or you should bring somebody that is really passionate about the environment because if you look at what is happening 
in Abba. In Abia State, you can see that they are really more passionate about the environment. You can see that Abada used to be a, a laughing stock in the whole of eastern Nigeria and in the whole of Nigeria. It's now completely been transformed that even the litters that used to be the case in Abba or Mwaya is a thing of the past. But you can't say of the same with Anambra State because even a lot of the roads are still littered with all those uh, uh, sand dunes and also rubbish on the roads. So that's why we are here calling on the governor to, rec to reconsider about changing this uh, ugly situation and to reverse this age-long age -long thing that Anambra State will always be last in the issue of uh, proper economic development, environmental development. So that's why we are talking about Himito. Because if he himself, as we have seen, is not really passionate about the environment, although he talked about it, but in a reality, he's not really, really much passionate. Because for almost uh, going to three years now, not much has been achieved. You know, with just little progress here and there, but not much in the overall scheme of things. Not much has been um, achieved, and this has uh, has uh, made the state to look uh, look uh, undeveloped and look archaic. So, the solution to him is to look for getting a commissioner of environment who will be really on the road who will be very, very passionate, who will have a mandate of delivering something which is his most. Not uh, this time around, you're employing uh, somebody that doesn't, um, it's not on the street. Most of the time he's running from one, one symposium, one meeting to the other. That time has come that he need to, uh, you know, change this uh, narrative and appoint somebody that is passionate. Let me uh, um, explain what I meant. If I am giving the Commissioner of Environment six months, you will not recognize Oka, you will not recognize Onicha, and you will not recognize Neu or even Ekulobia because the environment matters. Getting an environment change matters, and it will not cost much money because we, I am going to do it in partnership with the landlords and the house owners. So I think you got what I mean. Is it a rocket science to tidy up the streets, to you know drive away all those sand dunes, keeping the streets clean? It doesn't cost any money. Is it a rocket science to plant at least five trees in every house, in every front houses? Is it a rocket science to completely clear the mess in the market areas, in front of markets, illegal structures? It's not a rocket science. I don't know why this should be. A case with Anambra State. What is your own opinion on this? Let us let us drop something, our own opinion, so that our homeland will be taken to another level. That's what we are discussing and that's what we are reaching in this channel. Remember to like, comment, share and subscribe. I am so called the NYA, the son of the wonderful. See you in the next one. I hope you have a wonderful time wherever you find yourself because that's what we are praying and that's what we are hoping that everything will be wonderful for you and our homeland. God bless you. See you. Bye.